everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this one we're going to be reacting to Battlestar Galactica Season 2 Episode 6 called Home Part 1. Um, recap? We finally f find out what a farm is in Battlestar Galactica and it's essentially just Solon's trying to impregnate women to give birth to human Cylons, essentially. Yeah, um, hybrids. Hybrids, yeah. Uh, Starbuck basically gets shot and she gets taken to one of these centers um and she finds out when she escapes that there's loads of them um she is on her way back home now um with the arrow uh and anders is left on caprica essentially they're going to look for all the farms whether we go back to caprica is a different story now because all the people that were on caprica that we were following are, are now with uh with our starbuck mm. sharon's also back caprica sharon um she's back and she helps rescue um starbuck adama's obviously awake but he's feeling sad that boomer is dead mm. um and he says it beautifully to chief that she still was human essentially we didn't know up until a, a while ago yeah. she was still a, a member of this this ship Roslyn plays a religious card uh and goes back to cobalt uh, with Zarek and everyone. Um, that was quite interesting because Adama didn't think that anyone would go with her. <laughs> the third of the fleet. The same, the same thing I thought about the fact that no one would follow her when Sol brought the Corum down to visit her when she was in yeah. that cell and they'd brush off like she's crazy when the majority, if not all of them, believed in the prophecy. Yeah. It's the same thing happened to him. Like, I don't think people are going to go and a third of the fleet has essentially yeah. jumped yeah just crazy absolutely crazy um so starbucks on the way on her way back she's got to somehow find the frequency and communicate with galactica yeah. which is um, what I'm, I'm assuming she's going to do uh and let's see what happens there so um season two episode six home part one let's check it out 18,000 souls aboard the 24 ships that joined former President Rosalind's... Wow. Morale is down throughout the fleet. The press is going wild. Families are being split apart. Don't talk to me about family. Yeah, he needs to have a conversation with his son. He's still Adama's son. Yes. When yes. push comes to shove, yes. how do we know he'll be willing to stand up? If it were not for him, I would still be in a galactic jail cell. You tell him, Rosalind. It hurts that they're arguing about this. We should take steps to arm the others just in case. Just in case, just in case we want to commit suicide. Yeah. He'd kill you. If Galactica wants to take us down, there is nothing we can do about it. Yeah. And nobody in this room should be under any illusions on that count. Zarek. Lieutenant Thrace will return. She will uh. have the arrow of Apollo, and it will help us find our way to Earth. How does she know that Thrace is going to return? Yeah. Some of us will die down there. Mmm. Weren't ready to hear that. Not an identified ship making its way towards us. Too big to be the Lieutenant Selen later. It's in weapons range. The Adriatic has to fire her missiles now. It's Starbuck, isn't it? Because yeah, obviously it be... be. Yeah. This is Starbuck. Okay, so she has gone back to. Okay, scrap everything I said about her going back to Galactica. She's yeah, made it. Straight. <laughs> She's made it straight here. He doesn't know anything. Imagine bringing up the speed. Oh. Okay. Good to see you too, Captain. All right. Oh crap! Oh crap! I didn't think oh, about this bit. No. I didn't think about this bit. Oh no. Apollo, no. Apollo, no. Oh crap, oh, she's... she's pregnant as well. Drop your weapon, sir. Oh. Your weapon, Hilo. Oh, well done, Hilo. All right, no one's shooting each other here. I imagine trying to explain this, though. It's ludicrous. No, that's the name of a rapper. No. But it's... <laughs> she will be taken to a holding cell where she will remain unharmed. Okay. How about it, Apollo? Put it down, Apollo. 
Now put that thing out the airlock. Oh, you what? what? We don't keep silence around here, Lieutenant. Fuck, you said you yeah. were gonna hurt her! They're actually gonna spice her. After two emergency surgeries, Cottle managed to save him. That wasn't me! Kara! Wait! Tell them! I know how to find the tomb of Athena! Oh, good, she's useful. I like this. You don't find the tomb, you don't find her! Listen to her, for God's sakes! Listen! I mean, also, she is pregnant. No one is talking about yeah, that. Yeah, I know. There's no one that's mentioned that. Information. Mr. Zarek, is there some place where that young woman and I can speak? All right. Young right. woman. Okay, it's a start. It's a start. It's great to see you again, Kara. Thanks for bringing in the trash. Oh, I was going to swear there. I mean... <laughs> Mueller's not a bad choice. He did a tour as a, a squadron. Oh, I suppose Mueller's you can use two to crush one. Well. I mean, still, bro. That's, yeah. Lieutenant Burke, please, come in. Thank new CAG. In such short notice. Just thinking that we need a new CAG to step up. Congratulations, yeah. Captain. What's CAG again? Command, air, Commander of Air Group or something. Okay. was a tremendous supporter of your son, Captain Adama. He was, he was a great leader, sir. Uh, maybe don't mention him right now. The ship is a family. I love everyone on this ship. As much as I love my my sons, mm. Galactica is still a family. You're an important part of that family. Do you understand? He said family like fifteen times there. He's honest and he's loyal. We need a little bit of that around here right now. Mm. I'll support it. So you shouldn't be making any decisions or be involved in making any decisions. We share the grief of friends lost, but if we stay together. We will rise to the occasion, as we have before. Not bad. Roslyn is no longer president. She relinquished that role when she suborned mutiny aboard this ship. Okay. We have lost no one that cannot be replaced by someone loyal. Who's chosen to remain with us. This is the fleet. It's essentially saying whoever's left. Whoever's left yeah. is the fleet. That's it. It doesn't exist, and you just made it up. Ooh, where did you get that from? Broadcasting that kind of garbage is the quickest way to find yourself in a holding cell. That goes for all of you. We're done here. Don't make up bullshit. Gotcha. I mean, we know it's yeah, not bullshit, it's but... Good. Oh, no, we don't because of the prophecy. Watch the fish try and swim upstream. They're mesmerizing. I am bit dumb. Does he see these guys as fish? You're beginning to see human beings as we see them. What I am beginning to see are Cylon faces. Everywhere I look. That's messed up. You will be spared their fate. For once, guys, you can stop manipulating the world and let destiny take its course. Oh yeah, you're the father, remember? Yeah. Even if you find the tomb, even if you find the map, and even if you find Earth, the price you pay will be too high. I'm not interested in your prophecies. Um, how does she know about it? Get me a map, and I will do my best to tell you how to get to the tomb. No, you'll do better than your best. I want to know where it is, and you either know or you don't. I mean, she might space you right yeah. after you tell her. Who cares what she says? You can't believe a word, any of them. The scrolls of Pythia do speak of a lower demon who helped the people in a time of crisis. Oh, what? wow. Of course, no. of course, there's something like that in there. I've told her that unless we return from Kobol with the map to Earth, that Lieutenant Agathon will be put out the airlock as a Cylon conspirator. Oh, shit. She thinks she's in love. Mm -hmm. Even if it's software instead of an emotion, it's real to her. She wants her baby to live. She wants Agathon to live. We use that. She's smart. Mm -hmm. The thing is, there's nothing stopping her brain from switching and just... Sharon knows so much about Kobol is because it's a Cylon trap. I do more than consider it. It is clearly impossible we're facing a trap. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Captain Apollo managed to tell us anything we don't already know. He is in charge of this mission. He is second in command only to myself. But I thought they killed all the Cylons on Kobol. Could be just one batch in that area. Could be. Oh, okay. Mm. So it's a... Uh, an exercise. Mm-hmm. Confirming that I'm cleared for my attack run. Am I clear? 
Oh no. Executing eyeball run. Affirmative, you're clear. Rolling in. Oh Weapons no. Hot. Oh, it's a mix up. Don't get caught in the crossfire, please. Leader, beginning strafing run. Oh no. But the thing is, obviously, if the thing blows up. Are you shooting? Said I'm clear for my attack run. Yep. Ah! It's gonna break move, up. Move, 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 move. Come on, we down, need some maneuvering down, from you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, 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 nice. I mean, I mean, it was interference, but yeah, yeah. But it's your first day as CAG, and it doesn't really set a yep. bad precedent. Stealing the Cylon Raider and then tearing ass back to Caprica. Yeah, because you're clearly the poster boy for military discipline. Hey, right? I was going to say, you'll want to talk. <laughs> While you're standing here polishing off your halo, consider for a second that you may not have any damned idea what the hell you're talking about. That's right, you tell him, Starbuck. That is also true, isn't it? Because he, his story is quite linear, whereas her story has been all over the, all over the place. Yeah. She still needs a commander. The man in charge of the fleet. The man with the guns makes the rules. Oh, what are these two idiots going to plan to do? Yeah. What if she has someone else in mind? Someone already close to her, like a certain captain. They're going to make a plan to take out Apollo, aren't they? Yeah. We do what we must in order to keep Rosalind safe on the surface of Cobalt. But... Accidents happen. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right. How could I not have seen that? He's going to kill him. This guy's dead. Really? Yeah, I just... I just can see the way he said that. The scriptures say some of us will die on Cobalt. One man in particular. Maybe okay. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I mean, he might change his mind last minute and just shoot, shoot this guy. I just, I just don't see us losing, losing Zarek and I don't see us losing Apollo. Yeah. Yeah. But he's making a mess out of what should be the simplest op in the book. How long has he been at it? About four hours now. Oh my god. Wow. He's a bad cag. I realize that he is your guy. But he's no Apollo. Who else is there, though? It's only Apollo. Can I have my ball back, Lee? Yeah, sure. What's he doing? He's gonna get punched in the face, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I'm just kidding around. You can take your ball and go home now. <laughs> hey, title. I just want you to know, Kara, that I'm your friend. I love you. If there's anything you want to talk about, anything you want to get off your chest, then I'm here for you. That's nice. But will he understand it or will he judge her, basically? Anyway. About Anders or a, I thought she was... Want to talk to anything. I thought he was gonna, she was going to tell him about the trauma of seeing the farms. Did you say you love me? <laughs> Well, um... Leah Dama loves me. Oh, she caught on to that bit. There's no take-backs. You're dreaming you, it, Kara. You love me. You're dreaming it. You love me. Dreamer. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're friends again. Abort fuel unwrap Raptors return to base. Acknowledge. He's gonna We're strip him. Right He's gonna strip him of the car, gonna... Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Oh. Yeah. Bit of a shit show, this. I thought he would do better, but clearly not. And what did he see in his file apart from loyalty? Yeah. You never know when you might need to defend yourself. Okay, this is gonna be spooky. And the great ship was the galleon that departed from here, where we're standing. Damn, she knows it off by heart. Yeah. The rocky ridge that led to the tomb. Uh, quite a few, isn't it? <laughs> I think that's the only one, mate. Oh, that was the one. That's the one there. There's something there. Don't, don't wait. Hang on. It might be a. Tell her to stop. Okay. Oh, there is. Okay. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Damn. Oh, it's all over the place. You need. 
Oh, oh my god. It, it is a trap. Oh no, of course he's going to think she's running away. Nice shot. Well done. See? She's helping you. You gotta be fracking kidding me. <laughs> Not bad. That was a great shot. What are you talking about? Betrayal has such a powerful grip on the mind. Who's he talking to? I don't think the problem is that you've been betrayed. I think it's that you feel helpless. You were shot. You were injured. You couldn't do anything. Don't make excuses for me. She's... she's right. You let us down. Damn. You made a promise to find Earth together. Every day that we remain apart is a day that you've broken your promise. What was the promise? To keep them all together. And they'll find Earth together. It's time to heal the wounds, Commander. People have been divided. I said that's enough. The children are separated from their parents. You need, it. you need to hear it though, bro. It's interesting that it's coming from her, but then they'll see who else. There's no one else that's going to tell him. Yeah, I like that it came from her. Why is he having a guy at this moment? He's going to go. He's going to go. Oh, to, um, Kobo. To bring the family back together, basically. Which is the fleet. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I think anyway. There's no other way. Because that's what D was getting at. In my mind, I'd just be like, would I really want to leave <laughs> Sol in charge again? I want to see all recon material on Kobo immediately. No, no. Orders. Yeah, exactly. No, he's still in charge, but everyone go. Fine. To Kobo. Putting the fleet back together. Maybe yes! Putting our family back together. Well done, D. That's all you. Got the emotional bloody flute in the background as well. <laughs> hey! Gator like that. Well done, D. To be continued. And that's the end of the episode. Thoughts? They, they, that Sharon thing was quite quite funny. Because... <laughs> funny? Funny in the sense that it's like, I don't, obviously, obviously it didn't go the way they, they planned it, but in their mind, it would be interesting to see what, how they actually planned on, but obviously then, they didn't know that. But then, but the thing is, when, before they left, they did say, oh, it's likely going to be a trap. Oh yeah, no, 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 that, that bit, I mean, like I said, because she's aware, because Sharon's aware of the prophecy and obviously the Cylons would be aware of it. Mm. So initially... It makes sense to put set a trap on Cobalt. But what I meant was when they came when they came back with Starbuck. Obviously they were they didn't know any of this other stuff had happened. Um and in their minds they're they're probably thinking, okay, well we'll have to explain why we have a double of Oh, Boomer. so you mean yeah. So in their mind that that was the only thing that they were worried about. And it was like, well no, hang on, Boomer shot a Dharma and then she got killed herself. <laughs> And on top of that, this one's pregnant. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's it kind of went to to shit a bit, but yeah, that was a, it was a weird scenario. Although it was really interesting for um, the way Rosalind's playing a lot of this stuff is she's become very clever in the way she plays things or she words it. Like she goes, "Oh, we'll throw you in the brig." And everyone puts their guns down. It's like, "Okay, we'll throw you at the airlock now." It's just like it's very, it's very. She's she's learning the game very quickly. Um, Zarek, ah, he just wants to be. You know what? In that on that bit, just the way that guy was it Maya, Maya, Mayas. What, yeah. what that guy's name is? Just the way he was telling him, and Zarek was like, "Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're." Right. Just the way he was saying it, I was like, "He's gonna double cross you," because he knows yeah. he can't do that. 
he can't get away with that. Well, this is the thing that I think with with Zarek, there's always it's it's always been a he he has to be on his terms. He's he's too smart, and we find obviously we knew we we see here that he he obviously talks about his feelings and his his ambitions and whatever. But yeah, the other guy, I can see why you would have thought that yeah, he was thinking you know we'll we'll kill Roslyn and then but but obviously they can't kill Roslyn. Not Roslyn. He's, not Roslyn, sorry. Um, Apollo. Uh, you thought he? You thought Zarek was going to kill him? Sorry. Yeah, that's what right. that guy was getting at to be the yeah, next yeah. to be the next guy because because the president's going to choose um, Apollo. Apollo, and when the president's away, this guy can be sort of dealt with, so mm -hmm. that you're so yeah, that yeah. she can choose you essentially. But that's yeah, never yeah. gonna that's never gonna work. Yeah, it isn't. It isn't gonna work. It's just, it's just too close. I mean, they're all on the mission anyway. Um, but it's it's funny how they're all in it for themselves. They obviously, they want that power. They want that title. They mm. want that. It's obviously trying to be the next Adama slash. Um, he's obviously trying to take control over. But yeah, it's just really, it's just, it's just really weird. But the way he, the way Apollo was treating Starbuck as well was a bit weird because it was like it's kind of like a like a childhood play he's being very playful at times then he's being a dick at times and it's kind of like just pick pick a side mate just i think i get that you're hurting yeah and i think he hasn't had that he saw a cylon kill his like shoot his dad yeah, yeah 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 and he still thinks of them in that way he hasn't been through a situation where uh cylon has saved his life or the lives of people around him yeah 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 i mean all the silence <clears throat> If the dupes they've come across have tried to have been pricks them. yeah yeah, yeah. basically yeah, so I, I totally get that bit and um, the what he feels towards star but like that bit that's why he can't understand why starbuck is like that but eventually obviously they are friends and they do care for each other so that was just him kind of letting him letting her know at the end um but he is quite self-centered in the sense that even though Starbuck left to go to Caprica, what did he think? That she was just going to go, land, and then come? You know, do you yeah, know what I, mean? like I think that's not, exactly what... Putting, that's exactly yeah, what not, he thought was going to happen. Yeah, he's not putting himself... I mean, the thing is, as far as they're concerned, Caprica's gone. Like, yeah. it's under silent control. So they're yeah. not... They're, he's obviously not worried about it. But then also, he's not putting himself in Starbuck's shoes and they're being like, okay, well, what did you actually go through? Mm. Um... Which yeah, because because is... because uh, I was expecting a conversation about the farms, and there was there was none. Yeah, of that. there was nothing about that. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't really see much from guys. He just he just thinks differently to everyone else, and he obviously looks at. It was just a conversation how that he was looking over everyone like the well fish in this he's scenario. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just <laughs> observing them and, and kind of it's it's kind of jokes though because the thing is is like obviously his I was thinking in my mind I was like well your detector's working instead of just hallucinating what he's get on with it but then it would take him sixty years to actually figure it would out. Take him a hell of a long so it would take him a long time. time. So I get I get that. Um, yeah, the drama as well. Yeah. I'm surprised D was the one. Mm. I'm glad it was her. I'm glad it was someone yeah. like her. Someone of in that position telling someone of that position. Yeah. Look, this yeah, is where yeah. you went wrong and this is how you feel. You feel yeah. like you let us down because you are that kind of person who who wants to take responsibility and you feel like you let us down. So all this shit that you're letting out, your rage that you're holding in is because of that. So yeah. stop being, you know, within yourself. It's almost like you can fix the yeah, gap that's just, in the that, pilots you can yeah there's no yeah. that's exactly what she's saying but he doesn't want to admit it he's just like oh they've gone now yeah that's it no, yeah gone. you can so fix like, all well, of that you can do all of that but instead of holding it in do what you know is the right thing to do and bring that back bring the family back yeah um, yeah, yeah so if that's the case we might get to see there's Adama two things Russia. there's two things here there's Go two on. things Not that I'm saying that there is a random baby on Caprica, but you might get you might get Caprica. <laughs> sorry, on Cobol. Uh, you might get parts of Dice's vision come true. Yeah. yeah. 
where he's trying to take you know whatever but then also it's how far is he gonna go because they're already on the surface it's like how far is he gonna go to get them back like what is he gonna do he's gonna get there and then what is Who's he going to send? He has to go himself. Yeah, that's what I think is so going to happen. I think they're going to yeah, park. Yeah. I think they're going to park the ships outside and think they're going to land on Kobol and they think they're going to have a conversation with the president. I think they and maybe even. I'm hoping he takes Gaius with him. I want oh, to see Gaius, Gaius is definitely mate. going. Gaius is definitely going. going down <laughs> because there. well, technically, he's he him and the chief are the only people that have been down on the surface. Yeah. True. True. So. Yeah. Uh, and no i was gonna say and apollo yeah when they came to rescue he's them yeah oh yeah he's, he's already, already there. there he's already there um great episode um a nice little cliffhanger can't wait to watch the second part uh but um let us know your thoughts in the comments what did you think of the episode and a reaction to it but other than that please like share subscribe click the notification bell and we'll see you in the next one see ya yeah.